Hey there, research and development friends. I need you to sign in to Tinkercad and use to create a new design. If it's your first time building one or first time signing in, make sure you do sign in with social providers and choose Google. Take your design first, click it, and let's change the name. Put dragster wheels and then put your initials so that that is stored. We are going to design wheels for your dragster that are hopefully lighter and faster. Let's start by bringing out the hole, and I'm going to tell you that this has to be 3.4 millimeters by 3.4 millimeters. And then I'm going to keep it 10 high because later I'm going to cut it out. And then you want to be able to put your axle in a space, and I'm going to tell you that the smartest size for that is 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters. So click and press enter. But then we don't want that to be 20 millimeters high because that'd be silly. 5 and press enter. Whenever you've got your pieces built, you need to align them center and center so that in a minute you can cut out your wheel design. When you design a wheel, the most obvious place to start is with a cylinder. Uh, make sure that you take that cylinder and you can try different sizes. The original size is 35. I'm going to do 36, so mine are going to be just a little larger uh, as far as the ability to roll. You've got to make the sides 60 so that it looks more round. Otherwise, it is not round. And then instead of the 4 or 5 or 6 millimeters thick they have, I'm going to set mine to 2 millimeters thick. So I have just created a super simple wheel that I can then align it. And my wheel would be ready to be cut out. This is a pretty lame wheel, though. It's much more fun if you take and make your wheel more fancy. The one thing I do want you to do when you're making your wheel, make sure that you make it uh, symmetrical. So I'm just showing you one way. So like if I took this circle and I was cutting it out, what I would do is align it so that I went to the left edge and I had it centered. And then click on it and use the arrow keys to move it in one millimeter. Then I could do control D and do that same trick up at the top. I'm going to group this just so that it stays. And then I'm going to just complete the process of aligning. And I want it centered and I want it up at the edge. And then with it up at the edge, I'm going to do control D to make my next one. And now I'm going to move that down one millimeter so that there's that same gap as the other side. And then when I group those, it's connected. And then I'm just doing the same strategy to make my wheel. If you've got a completed wheel that you think you can print, uh, show it to me. If I say that it is okay, then you may export it as an STL. And then choose the desktop, empty tools, STL folders, and make sure it says dragster wheels with your uh, initials after it. You're allowed to make several different attempts, so make sure that the next time it'd be two, three, and four. Don't ever delete your original wheels. Uh, just duplicate the wheel. So I'm going to do Control D to duplicate. I'm going to move it off to the side, and that way I've already got the hole built, and then I can just ungroup my built wheel, and I can make the adjustments to make my new extra cool version of my wheels. I hope you have fun making your own cool wheels, and I hope you make your cars unbelievably faster using this technique.